Well, good morning. Good morning. This is Coffee with Carol, and it is the Monday before Thanksgiving. How are you doing? <laughs> are you doing okay? Are you worried about how Thursday's going to work? Uh, what the meal is going to be? Who's cooking? Um, who's coming over? What are what are the pies going to be? What are you going to make there, right? Um, and a uh, wow! And then it's all about buying presents and getting things ready for Christmas, right? Does this conversation sound like the conversation you've been having with pretty much everybody, including strangers in the last week? I know it's been that way for me. People are asking me, what are you doing on, on Thanksgiving? How are you celebrating? What are you having for dinner? Who's cooking? Um, things like that. Perfect strangers ask because it's the focus. It's the focus. And I will tell you this, the world has really tricked us into thinking that we have to plan ahead. We have to look at what's coming up. We have to look at the, um, you know, what it's what our, our houses are gonna look like decorated and run out there and buy all the decorations you can right now and get your house decorated. Um, make sure you're, you're in the stores and you're buying the food that you need because there's probably gonna be a shortage. Uh, supply chain is, is messed up. So get out there, buy, 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 um, focus on, on, you know, the future and make sure that you're all set for that. Okay. I agree to a little bit that we need to plan a little bit ahead. Financially, we should be planning a little bit ahead. Um, we should be thinking about some things, but see, God doesn't say this at all. Really? He says, focus on today. Just focus on today. Focus on what you want to get done today. Focus on who you can bless today. Focus on the relationship that you are in today. Focus on making good, healthy food choices today. Stop worrying about tomorrow because tomorrow it's going to have enough of its worries all by itself. And I've got tomorrow handled too. I'm going before you, says God. I go before you and I lay out all the, all, the, all the plans. So stop worrying about so much about tomorrow. And when I think about this, it makes me realize that we should be focused more on the moments, the moments right in front of us, the moments that we have with our family, the moments and the memories that we can make. It's not about the food. It's not about the presence. It's not about the decorations. It's not about the external stuff that we can see. God cares nothing about the external, nothing. He only cares about the inside. He cares about your heart. He cares about what you are focused on inside, not what you're focused on outside. He could care less about all that. And so it makes me wonder if we can really shift our thoughts and shift our minds, because most of us are waking up every day thinking, oh my gosh, I don't have enough of, and you fill in the blank, or oh my gosh, I haven't done this, or oh my gosh, I haven't, and we're so afraid of what we haven't yet accomplished, or we haven't yet done, or we haven't yet saved, or we haven't yet given, or eaten or whatever it is. We're so worried about that. And it puts us into a spiral and it makes us feel like we, we are living on this edge of uncertainty that is, is so scary. But I want to talk about the edge of uncertainty when you're working with God, because the edge of uncertainty with him means there's no other solutions. There's no more resources. There's no one out there that can actually help you. You are completely and totally empty. Now, a lot of you might say, well, yeah, but I feel like that almost all the time. I'm, I feel that emptiness. Well, I am going to tell you that if you are in the word, if you are studying God's word and you are using his words instead of yours, things will change. You have to use his words instead of yours. And that means you have to actually be in the word to make that happen. We can wake up in the morning and feel whatever way we want to feel 
about whatever it is that we want to, you know, where we've got to lose weight or we, we aren't making enough money or we're having this issue or that issue or, or, or challenge. We can get focused on that and we can have that conversation with ourselves or we can take all of those thoughts and feelings and say, God, I'm so uncertain about what tomorrow is going to bring. Can you show me how to deal with that? And he says, oh yeah, let me show you. He says in Genesis 9, 3, that he is our 100% provision. He says in Isaiah 41, verse 17, that he will never, ever for, forsake us. He says in Philippian, Philippians 4, 9, that he will provide our every need for us. He says in Psalm 81, 10, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. He says in Ephesians 3, 20, that he can do immeasurably more than we could ever think or imagine. Psalm 34, 10 says, those that seek the Lord lack no good thing. Lack no good thing. Hebrews eleven six 6 says that we must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Guys, if we are seeking God every single day, when you wake up and you have that feeling of something, something like, oh man, like, I don't know if I'm going to have enough money to get the meal that I want to do on Thursday. Stop worrying about the meal on Thursday. Start worrying about today's moment. What, what success will you have in today based on your obedience to the one who created you? Ask him, what do I need to learn? Where do I need to grow and what needs to change today so that I can have certainty of tomorrow? Live on the edge of uncertainty, walking with God, instead of living on the edge of uncertainty, just walking with yourself, because that's where things are different. That's where things can change. I don't know if this is making any sense. For most of us, we're like, I don't even know how to, how to do this. I don't know what I need to do. All I'm going to say to you is, if you ask him for wisdom in this moment, like, what do I need to be focused on besides what I'm focused on? What do I need to be doing differently? How do I, how do I manage this God? And you really ask him for an answer. He will respond. Hebrews eleven six. go read it for yourself. He will respond to those who seek him. There is no like, if he will respond or maybe he'll respond. Uh -uh. He will respond to those who seek him. So if you simply ask him to give you some direction, to give you some wisdom, to give you some ideas on how you can handle today, because that's all that really matters is today and what you do with today and today's moment, then things will change. Whatever you hear after you ask that is, is going to require obedience to it. You're going to have to do something. <laughs> God does the how and you do the do. So you're going to have to do something in obedience to what he tells you to do. But do it. Do it and see. Get into his word. Find out if there's a scripture that you can, you can look up and you can find. Meet with me. I am working this week. I'm taking Thursday off, but I am working this week. Go and schedule a 30-minute session with me. Let's see if we can't start to move you in the direction of having that peace every single day because you're living on an uncertainty with a certain God. You're living in the, on the edge of uncertainty with a God that is going to provide for you. You're living on the edge of uncertainty and moving your total dependence to who God is in your life. That's what I can do. And that's how I can help you. So let's do this together because we're in this together, right? I wish you an amazing day. God does the how you do the do be blessed. Focus on the moments and the memories. Stop worrying about all the stuff and the stuffing. Make it a great day.